This is not an expert channel, this is my progress vlog. When I make a system or solve a problem for a personal project, I record it here for myself and the whole world. The animation you are seeing inspired three videos, one about my early experiments with line art and some real life issues you may encounter, the second is a tutorial about creating and using a black and white mat for masking, and the third one on making a powerful transition system between multiple images or materials. All three videos are live on the channel and this is the second one hello guys today we will talk about masking but first why do we use masking here it all started with me making this video or trying to make it I wanted first to render it using EV and I wanted these frames here to be transparent so I can use this video multiple times and just change the pictures inside the frames but then i tried to render one frame using cycles and i found that the image was much prettier so i decided to use cycles instead i would render the the cycles sequence only one time so why not i wanted to use of course a png sequence with alpha so that all the frames are transparent and then render the images inside the frames and then composite everything inside davinci resolve my free video editing program but there is a problem with cycles so here let's go to this blender file here that I prepared for this tutorial. I have a holdout material inside this frame and if I try to render one frame using EV F12 you see that the holdout material looks just fine but if I switch to cycles and render the same frame you can see that it works fine it is tracing and then you see that the holdout is not working. Cycles will start by rendering the 3d stuff and then adds grease pencil after adding the holdout material and that's why there is no holdout for grease pencil objects but you may have your own reasons to use masking one of them is that a png sequence of just one minute for me here took about three gigabytes and a half on my hard disk so that's a lot of space so imagine if it was like a 20 minute video if you use masking you can render instead an mp4 video or a jpeg sequence and that will take much less space on your hard disk so let's start the tutorial here we have this short sequence here we have a grease pencil background a sky background a 3d tree and it has some grease pencil leaves we have this golden frame it is a 3d frame or a mesh frame and we have this plane here that uses a holdout material a rigged grease pencil character we have a light here so the first step is to render this sequence without the holdout material so we can just hide the holdout plane but later imagine that your mask is not perfect and in the edges here you will see what's behind the frame so if the masking is not 100 percent perfect you will be able to see some sky in the edges so instead of hiding the plane I prefer to give it the same material as our frame. So we select the plane and we go here to material properties and instead of holdout we go here to this arrow here and replace it with gold which is the material of our frame. So here even if the masking later won't be perfect instead of seeing sky we will see some gold here in the edge and we won't notice any problems. So this is the first step. Now we can render this sequence without any problem. Render it using cycles or using EV as you wish. Now you can save your file. I named mine here masking tutorial 1 and then we start stripping this file for masking so this is the second step so my first idea was to keep the girl and keep uh, the leaves here that are in front of the frame change their colors to white change the frame content to black and then have the girl and the objects in front act as a mask too but i found out that the best approach is to just delete the front objects and use them in the last step of our masking this method is easier to execute and also it makes the mask less complex it means that it is better and more effective as you can see here there are some leaves that have some alpha on them and if we use them in the mask their look will be far from perfect and we will also have problems on the edges of the girl and the edges of the leaves so it's better to keep the masking simple so let's start first we will need to delete the girl delete the sky so we will go to our collections here delete the content of the girl collection and then delete the girl collection itself delete the content of the forest collection and then the forest itself delete the sky here the cloudy sky we don't need the sun too we won't need any light in this scene so we will delete this one too and we kept only our frame our plane inside the frame and our camera next we will need some plugin here that is called 
import images as planes. So we will need this to be active. And then we will import a white image. So import images as planes. I have a white PNG here. So you will need to prepare a white, a completely white PNG and import it. First, before you hit the import button, you will need to change from principled to shadeless. This will keep our image white and it won't be affected by light. And then in use alpha, we won't need alpha. So just uncheck this box for the alpha. Okay. And then you will import the image as a plane. We will need this plane here for two reasons. We need the plane itself to have a white background behind our camera. And also we need the material of the plane for our frame, the shadeless material that is not affected by light and that is always completely white. Let's move this plane here and let's resize it to act as a background. Let's hit three on the keyboard and try to adjust it to be at the same angle of the camera. Rx rotated like this. Maybe move it with G and then we will parent it to our camera. So shift select the camera and then hit control P object. Okay, let's go to camera view again. And I think it works well. The plane is following the camera. And now we will change the material of our frame here. So instead of gold, we will use white. This is the material of the same material of the plane. But you see that we have a problem here. It's not completely white. We have a lot of gray here. So what we're gonna do is to go to the shading tab. Let's go to camera view with zero. Here, object. So where are our nodes? Here are our nodes. So this is the material of our frame. And just here, instead of clip, we will change either to repeat or to extend. And here we have a completely white frame. Even if we go here to the render preview, let's go back to EV here. Next, we will want to go to our word properties and replace the surface here from background to principal BSDF. And you can see that we got some black background here. But is it really completely black? If you zoom in here, you can see that we have a reflection from our frame to our black plane because it has this gold material. So this is a good example of a material that won't be completely black even without any lights on our scene. Let's select this material and let's go to the material properties here and see what we can fix to make it completely black. There are two values here, the metallic value and the specular value. Only those, if you change them to one, you will have a lot of gold. And if you change them to zero, you will have no reflection at all and our plane is completely black. You can see here that, let's hit zero again or one, that we have a transparent world. <laughs> so for this, we go to the render properties here and to film and then uncheck transparent. And here we have everything black and I guess our mask is done. So let's go here to render preview in our camera view and hit play. This is our completed mask. The second step was done. All there is to do now is to render the sequence as JPEG sequence or as an MP4 video. And don't forget to save this file as a new file. For myself, I named it Masking Tutorial 2. In the third step of our tutorial, we will want to render the actual image inside the frame. What we will need are the front objects that are here, the girl, and the leaves that show here and the actual image inside the plane. Of course, your frame and the images you will import will have to have the same ratio so that you don't have any stretching, vertical or horizontal stretching. Okay, so let's delete the background sky and delete our golden frame. Delete and then where is my plane? Mm, it's over there. It's because it was parented to the golden frame. So control C. Instead of deleting the frame, I'll just hide it. So just hide it from render and from the viewport. And now let's import one of the images. And here you can choose from principled or shadeless. In my video, I used shadeless because I wanted the images to be as clear as possible. Don't forget, of course, this is something I forgot to mention, that the lighting in this third render should be the same as our first render. So that your combined video won't look weird because of different lights in different renderings. Here we don't need alpha and actually alpha would cause some problems. So let's keep alpha here and demonstrate that problem. Import image as plane. Here is our plane. You can move it and put it in the place of this plane or you can just change here the material to the same material of that plane. So it's this one, I guess. And we can delete this one now. So if we go to 
camera view here and move like this you can see that the leaves behind our image are showing in front of the image this happened to me and i didn't know what was the problem and gave me a headache so let's do some control z's and let's import again so import select a random image from here disable use alpha keep it as principled and import image as plane change the material for our plane to this one and delete this plane and now the leaves that are in front of the image are showing in front but no leaves behind it are showing now you can do your third render as a video or as a jpeg sequence as you wish you could lower the roughness of the plane here and make it look like glass and this is it now we can do our third render and save this file as masking tutorial tree and then we can do the actual masking so if you do your video editing inside blender we will do it now or maybe you just want to render a quick video and if you use davinci resolve as your main video editor like me we will do it later so we start here by going to this plus sign to video editing and then here video editing to add a tab here and then here we can let's hit zero i think on the numpad to go to our activated range here and then let's go here to add and to image sequence so in this folder here i render three sequences this is my first render as a jpeg sequence and then the second render and then the third so let's start with the first one let's hit a to select everything and then add image strip so this is our first image strip let's add the second one sequence two a to select everything add image strip and then add again so we have this one we have the mask here and we have our image here i think this one should be above this one okay but it seems that it doesn't matter where our mask is so i think i will put it on top or maybe in the bottom let's try to put it on top so let's align these guys align this one too this one we actually can hide and then this one our first render here we will need to go to modifiers and add a mask okay don't change anything here don't change strip to mask just go here click and choose our masking layer and that is this one it starts with the number zero two so let's choose it and bingo we have our masking dome this is it and it looks very very nice if you zoom in here you see that even though we rendered half the girl in one render and the other half in the third render you see that it's seamless here it looks very nice the alpha looks very nice on the leaves here this is really a perfect render just make sure in this render here where we added the mask here in strip that the blend mode is alpha over and not something else here if you change like to cross here the mask won't work it will be transparent so make sure that it is alpha over and now you can render this thing there's just this white frame here that may bother you as it did bother me this white frame doesn't show in the rendering so if you go to render and then hit f12 you see that the image is perfect here is full size full size yes this is the full size of our hd image you see there is no white background so we are good you can now render your sequence so this is our bonus tutorial here we will do the masking in davinci resolve here it's more complicated a lot of stuff is more complicated i don't know why but davinci resolve is a more powerful uh, video editing program than blender it also supports arabic it supports right to left writing that doesn't exist yet in blender so this is my main video editing program and this is where i did my masking so to start you need to go to this media tab here you will need to go to these three dots before you'll be able to import your image sequences if you import videos that won't be a problem so you may find this to be by default at auto i think so here you see the sequence so you need to change it to sequence and here you can see your sequence and to import it you drag it and put it here in your media pool i added a bin here i called it masking and added my sequence here now let's go to sequence two drag it here and sequence one and drag it here too now we will need to check the frame rate i think this follows the default frame rate of your project so maybe when you create your project you should make sure that it has the same frame rate as your clips you are important of course so let's go to clip attributes and here from 30 we change it to 24 okay we do the same here clip attributes 
24 okay and then clip attributes 24 and now let's add a timeline so right click one of the clips create new timeline using selected clips and here you should uncheck this one use project settings and then we go here to format and again we change the frame rate to 24 and then create and this is our timeline now let's go to the edit tab and hit this guy here and we have our first clip here let's put it here and then add the other clip below it and then the mask you don't need to add the mask to the timeline but let's suppose that your mask is shorter than the clip you are masking maybe you are doing a transition and transition are of course shorter so in that case you need to isolate the part that is mask so you need to use this tool and do a cut like this you need also this snapping to be active and cut it like this you don't need the mask anymore actually so let's delete this tool let's delete this guy you only need this one so here with your isolated clip selected you can start masking by dragging the mask here and doing the masking for only that isolated clip you will also encounter a problem with the offset the mask frames won't be synced with your clip frames so you need to select your mask here and then go to this guy here it's called keys or something you select it and you get the options for this clip and you will need to change the offset you can drag this like this or you can just change it what i do is i change from zero to one and then to two and then to three and stop when the clip is completely synced with the mask we don't have that problem here so let's do just Control z and we will go again to the color tab and we will drag our mask here if you don't have this blue dot here you will need to right click and add alpha output okay now we connect this triangle to one of these blue squares and we connect this green square to the alpha output and now our mask is working as you can see it is working perfectly just like what we did in blender there is no weird line here in the edge even if half the girl was rendered in one video and the other half was rendered in the other so this is our perfect mask done in davinci resolve thanks for watching and see you in another video that was a tiring one really <laughs> thank you and peace